hi everyone welcome back to another interesting video so in this video i'll be teaching you how to make this chest tag see how it looks like okay chest tag this is the back this is the front so this can be your logo you know just chest tag you know chest tag now <laughs> maybe you are planning for a training and you want everybody to have like your logo or some information this is a very cute something very cute okay so cute so nice you can see what we have and it's very simple to do very easy so i'm going to be teaching you um how i did this how i made this okay look at it it can also be in form of picture can you see it can also be in form of picture like this okay put it on the chest yeah so, then so let's get started with the class please don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe i make this one too. very cute just and so cute <laughs> yes yeah, so let's get started with the class this is sublimation paper and my design is on it so so you go for the design that you want for your tag okay so i have i have picture i'm, I'm be using picture then this um, that be the logo then also the award plate okay if you watch my last video here i share with you how to make um award plate okay i i explain this plate to you okay so this is award plate so and it's come in different colors gold like this white or silver color then we are going to be needing the chest pin this is chest pin then we'll be needing raisin and the adna raisin and the adna all right i will need scissors to cut so let's get started with it okay so i'll just trace out the designs out let me use this picture most of the time they usually use white so i'll use both the gold and the white plate okay so i'll just trace out the plates If you've not watched um, that video where I taught how to make a word play, you can you can uh, check my channel for it. There's a full tutorial on it. Okay. So my heat press is hot already. I put it on 200. The temperature is 200, and I'm going to stay for. I'm going to do the transfer for one minute. So there's protective. Um, nylon i will go ahead and remove the protective nylon for this one also i will remove the protective nylon okay so i'll go ahead place place okay then i'll place it on my heat press I'll do the same thing on this one, please, and please, okay? Then it's time to it's press on it, it's time to transfer. I'll wait for one minute. So while that is ongoing, I'm going to mix my adna and raisin. So for this resin, this is the resin. This is adna. Resin is usually more than the adna. It's usually um, two ratio one. If you are doing two spoons for this, you will do one spoon for the adna. But in some other cases, some people, in, in fact, if you want it to, to get adding very fast, you will add more of the adna. <laughs> yeah, I saw someone doing it, and it's very, it works very very well. Because what the person was working on, like this one that we'll be working on today, we need something that we want it to be very fast. Okay, we want it to add in very fast. So this is two, three, hardest three spoons. So this one is done. Let's see. Let me allow it to cool down a little bit. I'll just off my heat press. So 
so look at what we have <laughs> so while this one is cooling off let's go ahead and i added three spoons of raisin then for the adna instead of me to add one and a half instead of me to add one and a half i'll add two two spoons so that it's going to hard very fast <laughs> I was supposed to put one and a half, but because I want it to harden very fast. So I'll put two, then I'll mix it together. When you're mixing, don't allow bubbles. Now to do this, you need a very flat surface, a very, very flat surface, okay? Because you want it to be very flat when you place it down because you are going to be putting the adna on it, okay? So you don't want something that it will, um, it will tilt to one side. So you want it to be very flat as much as possible. So you are going to go ahead and trace your design out. Gently trace your design out. Now at this point, I want to say something. Now if you are doing... For instance, somebody is giving you something to do, like maybe 1,000 pieces. And it's picture like this, because picture is the most difficult one to cut, especially the ones that has small body like this. Because you have to be careful while tracing it out so that it will not cut through. So if you know that it is going to take it like 1,000 pieces, you are the only one working, it might be so uh, stressful. So what you do, you can do laser cutting, okay? You go to people that do laser cutting. All those people that have engraving machine, they will do the cutting for you after doing the, after you already transfer um, the design on the plate. So they will do the cutting for you. Now this is what we have at this point. For this one, I just cut only the head. Okay. So this one has the body. You can see this, this, and this. So I will lay it flat on the table, making sure that the table is very flat. Please. Then you are going to put spoon. You are going to use spoon to dispense the raisin. You do it gently. It's not. You don't have to be rushing. And while you watch me dispense the raisin or the tags, I want to remind you of my classes. I have streetwear class where you learn how to make different um, streetwears like goodies, like t-shirts, like joggers. The class is 25,000 era. I also have a screen printing class where you learn how to do printing, how to print on nylon, print on clothes. The class is 10,000 era. If you are interested, that's my number on the screen. Just chat me up. All right. So after about three hours, so it's dried now. You can see what we have. Look at it. Look at it. Okay. Do it picture. Okay. Look at it, I cut this one. Look at it. So the next thing we are going to do is to put the pins at the back. We are going to insert the pin just like this. So you can put the raisin. You can go ahead and use the raisin to apply the, the pins. But I'm going to use a frosted glue for it. Delete. Put some here. Allow it to dry a little bit, then fix it. Okay, you can see what we have. Very simple and unique. And we've come to the end of the class. Look at how beautiful the chest tag looks like. The white and the gold. This is a very simple DIY that you can do by yourself. For some of you that usually organize physical class, this is something you can make and share among your students. You know, they carry your logo, the formation you want them to carry. Yes, it's something you can do by yourself. Please don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe if you are yet to. And please drop your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.